So, um, a very warm uh, welcome to, on, on, to this training course on rapid teacher training uh, on open distance and online learning. And in particular, uh, to module 2B, as we call it, it's a module that is looking into the potential of using and creating open education resources. Uh, has a very promising program and an excellent trainer with whom we have worked already in the past. Just a little bit on the history of the program. So the rapid teacher training program uh, was developed in response to the COVID pandemic, which, as you certainly know very well, has led to school closure here in Zimbabwe since March 24. Um, and schools have opened only very recently. The school closure of schools has affected 4.5 million learners and 4.5 million learners, especially in the basic education system. And that challenge came on top of already a sort of a, an education system that was crumbling after um, and recovered from the from the EDI uh, uh, cyclone, uh, which it does just the, the, the year before. So in, we believe that addressing teachers needs and capacities in in strengthening uh, online and distance learning is not only very timely and very important in the period just now, but uh, also in the long term, because ICT in education is becoming indispensable. Um, in this, uh, Zimbabwe just is working on a new e-learning policy. Um, you have also e-learning very much in the center of your, your competency-based curriculum. So whether COVID will be resolved soon or or we have to, you know, anticipate probably similar uh, disasters and crises. Uh, E-learning in any way is indispensable and very, very important. So I'm looking forward to an interesting, inspiring training session and wish you fun. And I'm happy to be a little bit with you, at least at the beginning of the session. And I'm handing over to either Lovemore, who is our training coordinators, Love Mark, the training coordinator, Love Mark Lofo. Maybe you want to say a few words as well, and then to Andrew. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Julia. I don't have uh, much to say other than to welcome all to this meeting. I appreciate your participation in module, uh, which is focused on open education resources. And this is part of the rapid uh, teacher training program. I think everything has been said by um, Julia. And at this point, I'm going to hand over to um, Andrew. And I would also like to apologize for the delays, uh, the technical delays. Over to you, Andrew. Great. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so welcome to module 2B. Uh, you guys probably know each other already. You've been in a number of different modules already, but I thought I'd just show you the responses that you uh, added to the, uh, the Google Forms. And um, the I want to know who you are. That's the problem now with this remote teaching. So if I have a look, where are you from? Let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Um, uh, hang on. No, no. It's fighting me. Here we go. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see on your screens. Come back. Ah! Sorry. No, stop share. I'm going to redo that. Sorry, I'm mucking up now. Here we go. All right, so um, I see these mean something to me now because I was, as I mentioned in the video, and I've also mentioned in the preamble while we were coming in, that uh, I was very fortunate in Mutari and Bulawayo and in Masvingo um, in terms of working with uh, teachers to try and develop curriculum materials. I'm seeing here we've got a good contingent from those, um, those areas, plus we've got people in from. Uh, Vic Falls and Kariba. That looks good. All right. Um, so where are you? So when I'm talking to you, it, it makes sense if I understand of area you teach in. And we can see we've got a, quite a nice spread. All right. Primary 
are represented. A little bit of ECD, a little bit of higher education, plus some UNESCO and ministry people, one from each. Okay. And then I wanted to know, so how strong is this group? So how can I push you? Can I make you do stuff um, which is more than just some basic ICT? And it looks like this is a good, this is a strong group. All right. So in terms of using a word processor, most of you are putting yourselves at four or five. Five is expert level. All right. That looks good. Facilitating a Zoom meeting. We're going to find out that just talking in a Zoom meeting is death, all right? So we're going to have to find ways to um, make it a bit more uh, enticing, more encouraging. So uh, here, um, quite a spread from those who've never done it before to those who feel their expert level. Most of you are sitting in the middle. Okay, rate your ICT proficiency. Searching the internet, it looks like you're pretty strong on that one. Teaching using phone apps, four, strong, five, yeah, looks like it's a new area. We might need to um, get you thinking about how to build an OER like that for, for your phones, etc. cetera. Uh, rate your access to digital devices. Obviously, this, all this remote teaching only works if you've got access to some type of a device plus some connectivity. But based on this, it looks like you've all got a, either a PC, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. Um, we've got a, two people down here who's struggling for access. I hope they come right. And then in terms of internet connectivity, a lot of the WhatsApp's been going on about the data. So cool. It looks like that's been um, more or less sorted out. Three, four, and five, looking nice. All right. Rate your access to teaching resources. You're not feeling too bad about this, but I'm going to encourage you then to try and think about OERs in terms of creating resources for people who do not have good access to um, uh, uh, teaching resources. So keep that in mind then, even if you feel you're not, you're quite flush in terms of getting OERs, uh, getting teaching resources, um, you can always help out others. All right. And then I wanted to know what type of teacher are you? Are you conservative and sure, or are you one of these revolutionaries looking for new progressive approaches? So that's what these questions were trying to tell me. I wanted to know, um, do you feel that you uh, preferred your remote teaching or did you prefer face-to-face? -face? And it's quite interesting, it's a bit of a nice spread, but it's skewed slightly to technology right so this remote teaching while not getting everyone at five there is a little skew towards the techie side and then that seems to come through again in this next one when would you use technology uh, to uh, use technology to teach and again up the tech side and then i like techno technology that is and the question was tried and tested or are you a fly-by night a revolutionary progressive wanting to use the latest coolest stuff Ooh, well, we got quite a lot up at the five end. And again, as I was saying, as we came in, the sweet spot's in the middle somewhere, right? Yes, you do want to keep up to speed with all the latest stuff, but you want to make sure that it is in service of education. All right. So, um, yeah, you cool dudes and ladies, all right? Um, make sure that the technology is supporting the education. All right. And then I asked you, why do you get up in the morning? Okay, what is what makes you tick? And these are oh, these are lovely. Look at that. Teaching is my passion. I'm feeling that I'm imparting knowledge and learning something new in return as I deliver lessons. Oh, isn't that great? Cool. Working with technology. That's a that's probably where I came in. And then as time went by, um, uh, I kind of saw technology more as a means to an end. But uh, it's always good fun, isn't it? I just love imparting knowledge to others. I like children and wish to educate the nation, share my experiences, knowledge, and skills, and I have acquired my area of specialization, transforming learners. Look at that one. That's, that's a high ideal. I enjoy working with young kids and to develop their potential. As a training officer, I want to make sure that teachers access the skills they need to deliver teaching and learning effectively. All right. Seeing the change I make in the lives of the learners. Inspiring to be in touch with the future. Oh, how about that? That's a goodie. In its infancy. 
story of everyone you interact with. We all have a favorite teacher. We can remember them even at my age. I'm old. I can still remember my favorite teacher, Mr. Gordon. He was a geography teacher. He was his niece. All right. Uh, still love geography. I really enjoy it to teach my learners. It's a passion, not a job for me to discover new things from my learners. Passion. I have kids at heart. Oh, these are great. All right. Now I can see why you get up in the morning. Cool. All right. So we are people persons. If you read through there, technology does pop up from time to time. But most of you are saying that really it's the engaging with this next generation, with youth and with young learners who are still working out the way the world is structured. Okay. And you're actually having your little, your little influence in their development so nice i like that i think we got a very nice group here i'll go through later when i've got time and actually work out who said what but um that's very uh, very encouraging all right so let me stop sharing so all right so what are now that i've got a little better idea about who you are you've already seen my video i hope so you can see me i'm basically a consultant i work for a little um con uh, a little firm called Neil Butcher and Associates. And we basically do anything and everything to do with technology and slash education. So, and policy, research, uh, materials development, database development, capacity building, you name it, uh, we've, we get involved. And we're very fortunate that we've worked quite a lot with uh, UNESCO and the World Bank and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and uh, William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and um, yeah. So um, I've up until COVID, I used ninety nights a year out of my house. <laughs> now I haven't moved. I've sat in this chair for over a year now, and uh, uh, it's amazing. You would think, oh, that is job dead, but no. My job is booming. I'm one of those few people who um, uh, the work is just flowing in. It's um, obviously emergency remote teaching, online learning, um, technology, etc. now is more relevant than ever. And that's why we're very excited that you guys are on this training course, the rapid teacher training, uh, because it's going to give you, and then you can have my job in a few years time. All right. You can say, all right, I want Andrew's job. Okay, cool. There's plenty of work, by the way. All right. So what are we going to do? So we are going to be looking at open educational resources. Now, we want to model an approach, which is what we would like you to do with your students in the future when you have to be locked down again, or um, if you find that you want to teach them 24-7 or only when they're in the classroom, et cetera, et cetera. All of these strategies can be used in multiple different ways. And I think what's changed now is that the future of education will have some type of technology component. So we're going to look at, we're going to model that approach. But our focus is going to be on these things called educational resources. So if I call up document, give me a session. Here's our training document. I'll just get it up. Here it is. And I want to open it. It's all very well that you've downloaded it. Open. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, I'm out of control. I'm an old man. Give me a second. It's on the desktop. Okay, cool. Here we go. There we go. All right. Let me open it up. And now I want to share the screen again. Too many buttons. And here we go. Share the screen. I want that one. Share. All right. So, uh, and if you've seen this, we did distribute this document. Um, can you see it? It's a PDF form. Um, so, um, what are we going to try and achieve? Kansas. So, um,
I'm just going to mute some people making noises. All right. So um, what are we going to be doing? So I've prepared four tutorials for you. The idea is not going to sit here for hours on end in Zoom. That's death. All right. What Zoom can do very nicely is I can get you to engage with various things. I can learn about you. You can learn a little bit about me. We can set up expectations. And then I'm going to say, right, I'll see you later. But you've got some work to do in the meantime. So I have prepared for you four tutorials. All right. Tutorial number one is basically on what is an OER, what is open educational resources and what are the potential benefits of using them and um, what are these creative rights. All right. So how does it all hold together? How do we know they're open and what are we allowed to do with them? All right. So we're going to look at tutorial one. Um, and because you started today, Tuesday, instead of Monday, you have another tutorial to also do before tomorrow. All right. So the second one is on finding OER for teaching and learning. So where are these things? Okay. It's all very well to say wonderful and they can do all these amazing things, which they can do that if you don't know where they are. So how can you find them and how can we make sure that they're aligned to our Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education uh, curriculum, our MOPSI curriculum, all right? So in the tutorial two, we'll take you through how to find your curriculum statements, look for the right type of search terms, go online, find them, these OERs, and then, um, yeah, so that's tutorial two, aligning them with the curriculum and then finding this one so you can use them in your, your teaching and learning. All right. However, half the beauty of these OERs is the ones you find, most of them you can adapt. You can so If you find they're not quite right for Zimbabwe or they're not quite right for your type of learners, then you can fix them. You can either change the language or swap out the pictures or just use a little bit of it or add stuff on top of it, et cetera, et cetera. So we are going to explain how you can adapt them we call this revising and remixing, but we also want to know how to create your own and license them so that they are open. All right. So we're also going to show you how to do that as well in tutorial three. So in tutorial three, we'll give you a whole lot of advice about how to adapt existing ones to better suit your teaching. And then we'll also show you how to license your own unique OERs, which we are going to want you to share with your colleagues around the country. And uh, yeah, potentially the, the world, all right? So the idea then is um, you are going to have to produce something for us in a minute um, by the end of the week. Tutorial four is how do you share them, all right? It's all very well to have this beautiful document that you have created on your phone or on your laptop, but how do you then share it across the country and share it across the world? All right, so we'll have a look at different publishing options in tutorial four. However, how do we know that these little tutorials worked? All right, so we have an assignment for you. We are going to ask you to create at least two. You can either adapt an existing one or create another one from, or create two if you want, from scratch. So really, really unique. So these aren't adapted OERs, these are new OERs, all right? So we would like you to um, do that. So <clears throat> here's the marking criteria. This is how we're going to assess you. And you can see it's a rubric. So the idea then is we can see to what extent you have achieved the objectives of our module 2B. All right, so number one, is there evidence that you have submitted these resources? And you'll see where we want them later on. Is it clearly stated on each resource how it is aligned to the MOPSI curriculum statements? Okay, we want you to show us. I have this curriculum statement. We want to know exactly where your OER links to the curriculum. And then three, have you put the little license on? We're going to talk about licenses in a moment but they have these very specific looking licenses. They're called Creative Commons licenses. Have you put your Creative Commons license on the resource so that other people know what they're allowed to do with it? Okay, and then four, were you able to upload your resources to the EduConnect repository? All right, so we've, the government 
Mopsy has a repository where they are slowly building a, a database of these open resources and we want your ones to be in there and we want to be able to find them. All right, so is there evidence that you have successfully uploaded your resources into the repository? Did you capture the appropriate metadata? That simply means, did you describe it well? There's a form you have to fill in. And post of each record on the WhatsApp group. So we need to know that you have finished and that you're ready for us to have a look. And that's going to be the key for us. So you're going to give us a screenshot of all the metadata. And, and then we can go onto the database and have a look at the resource. Okay. And it's out of what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's out of ten. That's how we're going to mark it. All right. So if you want all the kudos that goes with completing module 2B, do you want a certificate? I can make you a certificate if you want. Um, all right. So blah, 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 blah. How are we going to um, do this thing? So we're going to spend a little bit of time in Zoom every day. We're meeting it only for 40 minutes. I don't want to spend long lectures. You all just nod off anyway. All right. So um, there will be a little catch up session every day at two o'clock till Friday. In fact, on Friday, some of you are going to demonstrate your new OERs. You're going to show us how wonderful they are. And you're going to explain how they link to the curriculum, et cetera, et cetera. So Friday is really a show and tell day. Um, yeah. And how are we going to keep in? If you get into trouble or you're struggling, then you must use the WhatsApp group. So we are group one. All right. So make sure that you post any uh, things that you need in group one. Plus, I'm going to ask a question every day, a new question. And I'd like to see how you respond to that. So everyone will be able to think about the question, the day's question. It's related to the tutorials. And uh, we can talk about it on the WhatsApp. Okay. How long is this whole thing going to take? It's actually eight hours of study. It's quite long. All right. So we're going to do it over five days. So an hour and a bit a day, is it? Yeah, almost two. All right. So um, you've got to find some space in amongst all your other responsibilities because most of you are teaching. So uh, you can't have time off for that. This is professional development. So you're going to have to find a place to put it on. So it is a one and a bit hours of study a day. All right, so keep that in, in mind. Training prerequisites, blah, 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 blah. I think you've already told me from, your, from the Google form that you have more than enough experience to be able to do this. So that's cool. We can skip through all that. And then here's our agenda. All right, so today uh, we, I'm going to now quickly introduce the tutorials to you. It's already 1447, so we're already running late, but we did start late. All right. And... Um, then we're going to uh, work in WhatsApp from when we finish here till tomorrow when we reconvene Zoom. We're going to use the same link every day. So keep that link handy. Uh, then you can come in and in time in the future. <laughs> you won't leave you out in the cold. All right. But uh, we are going to use the WhatsApp group to keep um, uh, talking. Plus all the tutorials, I'm going to give you the links in the WhatsApp group. All right, so keep keep that. I'm only going to release them um, as they're required, so you don't feel overwhelmed. All right, so blah, 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 blah. You can see here's all our things. Here's our questions, but I will repost them all in the WhatsApp group uh, as and when their time comes. All right. Right at the end, we're going to ask you to fill in an evaluation form. So I'm going to give you another Google form. So if you struggle to get into the Google form today, then you've got to get yourself sorted before Friday. We'll do this on Friday. So please note, uh, at the moment, if I look at how many people, I've got 23 out of in Zoom. 23 people have filled the form in, whereas in Zoom we have, well, oh, hang on, we have, give me a second, here we go, 33. All right, so 10 of you haven't filled the form in yet. Now, there could be reasons why. Right, Google uh, is much happier if it knows who you are. So we would like you to open Chrome and then in Chrome browser, can you go to the top right corner and you'll see that there is a login for your Google account, your Gmail account, all right? So could you do that if you can't get in? If you're one of those 10 people 
who have not filled in the form because you can't access it properly, then you need to go into your Google, your Google browser, Chrome, look in the right hand corner, there's a little login button, and then log in using your Gmail account. Then all the links work and you'll be fine. All right, so make sure you've got that organized by Friday. Cool, all right. Um, all right, so let me show you where I've got these little goodies on here. Yeah, let me show you where the uh, tutorials are. I've lost the buttons again. Too many buttons. Here we go. Wrong one. Sorry. Old man's out of control again. Give him a second. Uh, here we go. I'm going to share my screen now and share. I want to share this one. All right, I'm going to put this link in the um, uh, in the WhatsApp so you can get there quickly. Let me do that right now if you want to go. <laughs> Okay, I've just posted that URL in the WhatsApp. This will bring you to the, and you'll see that we've got um, our four tutorials. Okay, you can click on them, go in. Um, for example, this is the first one. And, oh, I must fix that badge. It's the wrong badge. Uh, and the, you can push the start and off you go. All right, we've got too many people talking. All right, let's see who that is. Kill it. Okay. All right. So uh, on the screen, then you're seeing what the tutorials look like. So on the left hand side, there are one, two, there's a couple of pieces here. Uh, welcome and what are our objectives? What are these open educational resources about? There's some quotes and there's um, some videos and uh, so it's all nicely laid out. Hopefully these work on your phone. They do. They work on your phone. So you can go straight from your WhatsApp group into these tutorials using the links provided and it will work on your phone. They're designed to work on the phone. So hopefully it looks nice and sexy and you can start working through. What are all these things about? All right. So if you can go through there, that will be useful. And they're gonna, it's going to take you a good 50 minutes, no, maybe a little bit less, about 45 minutes to work through all these goodies here and to absorb the details. So give yourself plenty of time. But very importantly, you need to look at uh, the whole idea of uh, Creative Commons creative licensing. Commons. Okay, there's a test tomorrow, I'm warning you. There's a test in the Zoom. So when you come for the Zoom, I will be asking you to do the test. So be ready that you understand what these things are all about. Okay, cool. Blah, blah, blah. So you can go through time, watch the videos, uh, and there's some reflection sections, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And um, you, I'm afraid because you guys are so strong, I was told group one are awesome. Group one are gifted. Group one are the bee's knees. They are the techno giants. All right. I hope you are because you got two to do. All right. You got two tutorials to get through before tomorrow, two o'clock. All right. So um, if you could then tackle the numbers one and two, let me go back so you can see. So let me go right back. So if you can do these two, please. What is using OER for teaching and learning, and number two, finding OER for teaching and learning. Okay, if you can get through those tomorrow, um, there's a test in the Zoom, and then I can find out from you what you, your experience was like, what worked, what didn't work, et cetera, et cetera. All right, how are we doing? 14.53. Okay, um, right, can you put your hands up? Uh, in Zoom, you'll notice that you have the ability to put your hand up, can you say, uh, anyone got any questions or queries? I went very fast because we were under pressure today. I'm looking for the hands to go up. Just 
Yes. All right, can I pick on people? There are two hands up, Andrew. You see them? Oh, I'm on the wrong page, maybe. Let me go back. Yes. All right. Uh, Chad Amana. Oh yes, hello. Hi, Andrew. Hey, where are you? You're outside. Yes, I'm outside. How is it? Hey, cool. It looks like the cars. Yes, I just wanted to say hi to everyone and to, to emphasize to say, can we take this training so seriously so that we can be able to produce more content? Cool. Um, yes, and sir. I would like to endorse that. This is for real. These resources you're going to create this week are going around the world. Right. So yes. take it seriously and read through the materials and think about it and create really nice stuff that reflects well on you and Zimbabwe. All right. So keep that in mind. Chedamana, thank you. Uh, Enet, your hand is up. Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be participating in this workshop. I was only having problems in opening the tutorials. We double click there so that whatever in the tutorial comes out, right? Because it's refusing. All right, click on the writing rather than on the picture. Try the writing. Tutorial one and tutorial two. Does that make things better? So not on the picture, but on the writing. Okay. Yeah, I think it's opening up. It's opening up. All right. So that maybe that's something I need to fix. But if you're struggling to open, can you click on the writing rather than the picture? The picture might not be linked properly, whereas the writing definitely is. Okay. Thank you, Enet. That's very useful. Uh, anyone else's hand up, or can I just pick on people? See, Ivy, she turned her she turned her video off because she didn't want me to pick her. <laughs> Ivy, tell us about yourself. What are you feeling? She's hiding. <laughs> this is the problem. Oh, there, Ivy, yes. <laughs> I'm not hiding. I'm I'm fairly I'm trying to get back to you guys. I just clicked on my phone and my video stopped. Ah, oh, shame. All right. How are you feeling? Are you feeling overwhelmed or do you think this is something you can do? It's my first time. I'm very overwhelmed and I'm going to tell people that I'm I'm, I'm having these Zoom meetings. It's quite interesting. Cool. <laughs> I'm afraid <laughs> once you've done it a few times they become a little bit boring. Okay, so but anyway, um it's all part of moving forward for remote teaching, et cetera. So yeah, suck it up, learn as much as you can. Ivy, nice to have you here with us. That's lucky. I'm also happy. All right. Let's ask, let's go for Arnold. Arnold, you were the first one to fill in the questionnaire. So tell us about yourself. How are you feeling? Hi, Andrew. Yeah. You're yeah, my... I'm, feeling, I'm feeling okay. I'm happy we have been added in this OER training again. I hope it will be successful for everyone. Yeah. And I hope everyone is going to take the training seriously. Thank you. Arnold, when I looked at your proficiencies, you got more than enough skills. You're going to ace this. Yeah, I have. All right. Cool. All right. I'm not scared yeah. of you. I think you got, you're fine. You're going to do well. Uh, let's ask for Tapera. How are you feeling about all this? Uh, I'm okay. And uh, waiting for the training to actually kickstart. Right now, I'm, I'm just in the terraces watching and listening. All right. But to be honest, this is about you doing this stuff. So we're not going to talk to you about things. you got to do it yourself. All right. So the little tutorials will take you through the steps, mm -hmm. but you've got to do it. I'm not talking to you about OERs. You've got to work through the materials. So don't wait now for others to hold your hand. Go for it. Give it a, give it a shot. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. And then you can tell me if you've got any issues, if you've got any problems. But the little tutorials will show you every step you need. And we've also got some of the WhatsApp where we would be discussing the question for um, about 
is there a place for OERs in Zimbabwe is the first question. All right. Tapere, you got that. Eh? Don't be scared. You just you either use the WhatsApp or you to tell me tomorrow in the Zoom if you've got issues. All right. And that goes for it's all okay. of you. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go on my next page. I'm keep using page one. Let me look at page two. Richard, and uh, do you want to tell us how you're feeling? It is Richard, oh, he's moved. Richard and Gom is it's been truncated, it's cut off. Richard, how are you feeling? And I see Grace has also got her mic off. Grace, do you want to tell us how you're feeling? Can I see too? How are you feeling after the this post that right? <laughs> All right, okay. We started at quarter past. It is now three o'clock. So we are already, um, we took 45 minutes to do the introduction. Um, to be honest, as I say, the, the fireworks won't really happen in the Zoom meeting. In the Zoom meeting, I'm just going to check that things are going well and to see how, um, what problems you might have. The real learning is in those four little tutorials. So you've got to work through those. Numbers one and two before two o'clock, and um, a beauty for a test. There will be a Zoom, there will be a test in Zoom tomorrow. So make sure you've been through and you know what you're doing. So you uh, keep in mind the end is that you need to produce at least two. We asked two curriculum documents which people could use in their teaching and learning. All right. You've obviously got it for Zimbabwe, it's got to align with the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education documents. That's an upload into the room as proof that you have completed module two. In that case, I'm going to say, see you tomorrow. So I'm going to say, uh, see you tomorrow. If you have any queries, use the WhatsApp. I'm going to put all the links in the WhatsApp to make it easy for you. Um, and make sure that you have at least an hour and a bit, say an hour and 20 minutes. A day. We get through all the materials. <laughs> I'll see you in the WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank guys. You. Chat tomorrow. I'll see you in the WhatsApp now. Okay. Ciao. Oh yeah, done for the day.